Hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for the first half of October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. Please check the uh, description box below for any and all information needed about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, uh, playlist, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those who reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me in any way, shape or form. And it really does help the channel out. And uh, thank you so much for that. So any support you give, whether it's just a like, share, comment, really helps to uh, circulate the videos to get these messages out to those who uh, need to hear them. So thank you, thank you for all the support. Okay, so this is for Aries. First half of October, general reading. Um, I always say if you could fit it into any kind of situation in your life, you're more than welcome to do that, but I will read it as a general reading. I just finished your love reading, so I do those separate. Okay, so what do we have for Aries? First part of October. It's a Zodiac Oracle, so if you're new, I use this in every reading, so we'll get an energy around you. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So we may get a sign element or planet energy. What kind of energy may be around some Aries? First half of October. Can you believe October already? Just see, I'm decorated for Halloween. I'm at a new angle here. I have a new mat for my table with my logo, so I'm much more comfortable at the table now. And your car just went flying on the floor. So we have Leo, a fellow fire sign. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo perhaps, or you could have Leo in your chart. Um, could be friend, coworker, family member, or anybody really for some of you. If not, totally fine. Like I said, maybe you have it in your chart. Know somebody who has it in their chart. I don't know, we'll see. So let's get an overall energy now for you. What's going on with Aries, first half of October. Happy early Halloween. Okay, what's going on with Aries, first half of October. What is the message most needed for Aries? First half of October, Spirit, please. What do we have for Aries? First half of October, please. Thank you so much. One card for Aries. One card for Aries. Well, <laughs> alrighty then, sexuality. Hmm. Well something to do with your sexuality I don't know hmm. maybe some of you are coming out of the closet I don't know so on the top here we have trust your intuition so you're doing what's best for you you're following your gut and your inner knowing and your higher voice and you're doing what's best for you for some of you it may be coming out of the closet maybe I don't know and now you have creative expression at the bottom. So maybe you, uh, some of you write as a form of releasing your energy um, here. But if not, this is telling you that creative expression may help you. Let's see what's under that. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here for you, Aries. So, I mean, this reading may not be for everybody if it's about that. I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what's going on. All right. What's going on with Aries? First half of October. What's going on with Aries? What is this energy all about spirit please for Aries first half of October spirit please thank you so much page of swords wow so really telling truths here communication open honest truthful communication here maybe doing research online 
spying on people, watching things online and that sort of nature, learning about stuff online. But that definitely is, uh, wow, wow. So <laughs> fire energy, that's your energy with the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Two of Swords. So laying down burdens here, Tens are about completions and laying down burdens, something weigh, weighing heavily on your mind. Um, and that's why you have this Page of Swords, you know? Now you're ready to, to tell your truths here. Being indecisive for a while with the Two of Swords, not sure if this is something you should do. Um, really indecisive, but I think the burdens just became too much here. Too much. It's just a need to release truth here with the Page of Swords, but that communication, open communication here. Wow, and maybe the only way you could express yourself was through writing. Wow. But underneath that, we have new opportunities. So I think by, you know, confessing your truths or whatever for some, this is very specific. So this isn't going to be for everybody. Or this could be somebody around you, not you. It could be somebody you know around you who is now just expressing themselves. And they could be um, expressing their true sexuality here. All right. So, let's see. Let's get more clarifiers now for your energy. A couple more clarifiers for your energy. All right. Wow, the Ace of Wands. So, new opportunity brings in here a brand new passionate beginning. Now you're free to live your life the way you want to live it and have a passionate new beginning. Wow. And then we have <laughs> the Eight of Wands, fire energy again. This is your, all your energy, wands of fire. This is taking action. This is communication, travel, action, movement here. That some, usually it can be passionate communication, but I'm just feeling now really uh, opening up and you know, you're free now to express yourself. Um, and here's the communication, communication after being blind, you know, blinded for so long, indecisive, but I think the burdens are just so heavy now. It's like, I just can't do this anymore. And now you're in this state of just wanting to speak your truth and be true to yourself and live your true self. So let's see what your actual situation is for wands energy. Let's get a few more. Four of Wands and the Four of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So, wow. So Four of Wands speaks about um, now maybe you're free and open to commit to somebody that you wanted to commit to, but you didn't because you were hiding things. Now you're free. And if it's not, um, if it's not like the same sex, it could, could be just somebody maybe that, uh, You have very different, maybe it's like very different like cultures and things like that. Maybe there's, you're afraid that people around you wouldn't approve. Uh, maybe, you know, just very different circumstance. And uh, now it's just, I think it's all out in the open and honest and laying down those burdens. And finally making that decision and now you're having a brand new begin passionate beginning here. And now this could lead to commitment, marriage, stability, security in your home life celebrations, ceremonies, for a source energy of healing, contemplating, thinking, taking time for yourself, retreating, recuperating. So that's right in the middle of your spread. So really thinking long and hard about your life, your future, what you need to do, what's best for you. And standing up for that with the Seven of Wands energy, being very, def you know, kind of defensive and on guard and just standing up and fighting for what you believe in and not backing down and blocking those who are negative around you. Wow. So you're really in this energy now of just living your full truth, being open and honest, defending it. You know, you thought long and hard about it here. And now you're free to commit, live your life how you choose, being happy 
and committed in your home environment in some way. And that's the new opportunity now. You trusted your gut and your intuition and uh, knew it was the best thing for you to do. So let's get extra clarifiers now for <clears throat> your actual situation. So we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I'm just getting the message here. This is water energy. So we have fire and swords. We have all fire and swords. So Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And now we have cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Cups in reverse. So maybe you had to walk away from, from this person at one time, but now you, you've gone back to them. The Eight of Cups upright speaks of walking away. Eight of Cups energy is you either came back or now, you know, you thought maybe you were going to have to walk away from this person. Now you know that you don't have to. You got the moon there. So all the secrets have been revealed. The truth is out now. So there's no need of walking away. So no walking away from this person, the situation. All right. Let's get one more to clarify your actual situation. The sun. And there's the Leo. There's the Leo coming in to clarify. There's happiness, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, abundance and growth, happy home and family. Yep. So now being very happy in your home life, you didn't have to walk away from this person. You're having a new beginning now, new beginning now with this person, standing up for it, maybe even living together now. Wow. So let's see what your advice is, Aries. What is your advice, Aries? Kind of a different message. So, um, so your advice is now you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. Now you have the Five of Cups, which is water again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, the Five of Cups talks about sadness, loss, uh, heartache, pain, but you get the Wheel of Fortune. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to be sad. Because things are going in your favor. This is the wheel of destiny, the wheel of luck and fortune, things going in your favor, a better outcome. So things are going to work out. Things are going to go in your favor. This is something meant to be. It's fate. It's destiny. It's good luck. Everything going in the right direction. So you don't have to worry or be sad about anything. Wow, and that's your advice. Okay, so let's get a few more clarifiers on this for you Aries Aries first half of October wow we have the Emperor and that's your energy thank you spirit what else for Aries the three of Pentacles so the Emperor so that's you taking charge taking control of your life doing what's best for you being the ruler of your life being in charge of your life stepping up and taking the lead with the emperor energy here and doing what's best for you wow and then you have the three of pentacles so that's working together teamwork collaboration um so i think people will you know eventually accept this and um everybody will be working together if that makes sense um so yeah teamwork collaboration compromise here so i i see you know, people learning, growing, uh, accepting, nurturing, caring in this. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have the lovers. So <laughs> your outcome here is the lovers. Two people coming together. Soulmate union here. This is Gemini. Soulmate union here. Wow. All right, so let's clarify that's your outcome. So it almost turned out to be a love reading. I mean, I just did your love reading, and it was very different from this reading. So, all right, so, well, what's this? So we have the Queen of Cups. One more to clarify for Aries. And the King of Swords. So... So we have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So this is two people here, and this is a match. I mean, it is 
male female here but it doesn't have to be it can be male male female female male 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 female anybody here but queen of cups so definitely here love emotions feelings king of swords energy there living in truth clarity cutting away things no longer serving standing up for yourself not taking any bs energy so yeah there's definitely soulmate energy here with the lovers and the king of swords and the queen of cups so some of you could be either with a water sign or an air sign if they're not leo or you could have you know any s signs in some way in you know each other's charts or something like that but we do have gemini here also so i mean we have all the signs here uh, let's see, for majors, we have Sagittarius, Gemini, your card here with Aries, Leo, which showed up there. And then for court cards, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, all right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Pentacles, so being stable, secure you know, standing on your own two feet, being independent, being very stable, secure, and true to who you are. Seven of Cups here. So being confused for a while here, looking at all your options. What decision do I make? What do I do? What option do I choose? Daydreaming, feeling a little bit confused at one time, but now you've come out of that confusion and now you're very stable and grounded. The Hermit, deep reflection here, Virgo energy here, finding your way, your light, uh, doing deep soul searching here as we have right in the middle of your spread is the Four of Swords, is the minor of the major here of the Hermit. So going in and uh, trusting your intuition, doing what's best for you. The Star, so there's healing here, Aquarius, so healing. This is divinely guided energy for you. So just know whatever you decided here, whatever path you choose was divinely guided for you. Something that was meant to be. So keep having faith, hope, and optimism. And know that the star is here for healing, peace, and harmony. And there's your brand new stable beginning. Growth, abundance, stability, building long term. Could be now, because we did have, you know, this can represent an offer of marriage. So maybe, you know, you could be getting married or just committing long-term here. This is a long-term energy with the pentacle, its growth, stability, abundance. Equal give and take here with the six of pentacles, earth energy here. Equal give and take, reciprocity, equality. Having equality in your life now. All right, brand new, brand new stable beginning. Heath, Heath, <laughs> healing with the star energy, divinely guided. You know, doing the deep soul searching here and looking at all the confusion you had in your life, but finally finding your light. And now you're stable, secure, and grounded, and standing on your own two feet. And now you're living your life in truth, the way you wanted to live your life. Wow there so wow all right so let's get some extra guidance for you Aries so you know the first message I got was someone come finally opening up about their true sexuality so for some it could be somebody around you finally opening up about who they really are it could be a friend family member co-worker be anybody or some of you are finally just uh, putting the differences aside in a person that you want to be together with and maybe um, it was an obstacle because you were from different backgrounds different cultures um, it's just very different altogether but now you're able to come together as one and have this um, soulmate union wow so what else do we have for Aries, Aries, what are the messages for Aries, Aries, first half of October. 
So we have the Princess of Summer. It says, sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced. Dare, you can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close a platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. So I just feel here, kindle a no, new romantic relationship that this relationship is finally going to be able to come into fruition here for some of you. Wow. It's water energy. What else do we have for Aries? The Queen of Winter. So we have, this is the Queen of Swords. So now we have Divine Counterpart. Parts here, king, king and queen of swords, definitely soulmates here. So we have queen of winter, experienced, self-sufficient, brilliant, funny, leopard. All your all your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. Wow, it is time to do, declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore, and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness exactly and this what the, this is what this whole message was about was living in a state of truth and clarity wow let's see do we have anything else for Aries anything else for Aries the chariot Cancer energy here, seven, major arcana, Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at one at once through determination of focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So this is about moving forward victoriously, balanced, achieving success and victory, going after what you want with a lot of ambition and drive. So moving forward here with the chariot. Wow. So let's see, actually, I'll put this up here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Princess of Spring. So there's more fire energy. That's your energy, uh, Libra, uh, I'm sorry, Aries, Leo, Sag, Monarch, Butterfly. Creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth. In broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. So this could be that creative expression here. You know, maybe you're going to write a poetry book or, you know, write um, a novel based on your experience or what you're going through or, you know, on who you are. And you see, you know, transformation here. So, yeah. So I see things going in a positive direction for you, Aries, once you decide to live your life in truth. And like I said, for some of you, it's about your sexuality or somebody around you or um, just me being now able to be with somebody that you thought you could never be with in living together or coming together rather as uh, soulmates. Okay, Aries, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past playlist. Uh, maybe something that will resonate for you. If you see a title that catches your eye, I would say watch it anyway. I do consider them all timeless, so do disregard the dates on them. If you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments, and any support you give the channel, as in likes and shares and that sort of thing, will really help the channel grow, and you can be a part of that, so thank you so much. And if you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love. So that's four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. And I'm sending you much, much luck here in your situation. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.